I don't really get with like hip hop culture. What's on my mind today is opportunity. Opportunity, taking the right opportunities equals the outcome that you want to get. Most people just pass up on opportunity. Like this whole myth of, yo, hard work, if you just work hard, 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 you just work hard that hard work will make you successful. What we gotta do, <clears throat> what we got to do, real. Good morning, guys. Today is August 3rd, 2024. It is 9.37 a.m. Saturday, Saturday. Huh, man, hope you guys are well. Thank you for tuning into my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Hassan El Sadiq. I'm an entrepreneur building my startup or dreams. Yeah. <laughs> so today, we have 90 days until launch 90 days i started this four days ago okay this countdown i started four days ago i started this startup over a year ago but we're 90 days until launch today and this is a monumental day okay because we are 90 days and the countdown is even i love i love rounded numbers 90 80 70 60 i love that okay 90 days until launch very very excited um week has been good week has been good today i'm going to film a couple videos catch up on some little things that i probably need to catch up on um what's on my mind today is opportunity 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 taking the right opportunities equals the outcome that you want to get uh the problem is like i promise most people just pass up on opportunities they just pass up on opportunities. I see it time after time after time. People just stuck in their ways. They're stuck in their situation, stuck in their relationship, and they will not take opportunities to forward themselves to get out of whatever situation that they're in. I struggle with that a little bit, but not really. Because I'm the type of person, and this is why I, <clears throat> this is why I say, look, yo, book a one-on-one. -on -one. I just want to hear what people have to say. It doesn't matter like where you are in your life, what you're doing. Yo, book a call with me, 15 minutes. Let's talk, let's chat or whatever. How many people will take that opportunity? I don't know, right? But it will be a time where I won't be willing to do that for free, okay? Just wanna let you know. Um, but I'm not one of those people that is stuck in whatever circumstance. I'm searching for opportunities. I'm searching for opportunities. To the point, it could be anyone that reaches out to me I'll probably take their call. A little bit of vetting. It's not bullshit, right? But if they come to me and it seems logical, I'll probably talk to them. See what they got going on. Because you never know. You never know. And that's one thing I live by. I've seen people starting from scratch and now they're super super where they want to be in your terms because all you probably think about is money they're super rich okay but i've seen it i've seen people start from the bottom floor and make it successful in what they went out to do so it's real it's a real thing but do you take the opportunities that you're supposed to take in order to get to your desired outcome think about that okay um 
because most people don't. Most people, they gonna stay in their hometown. They not even gonna like be like, yo, I'm going to leave for a better opportunity that could possibly happen to me, right? And you need to jump out there. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. You need to jump out there. You need to seek opportunities because we all have these outcomes that we want. Man, you can get the outcome that you want. You really can. But you need to take opportunities that are in front of you and you need to take opportunities that you find and you need to seek opportunities so you can get that outcome. You feel me? All right, man. Yo. Ha! Mailed things in boxes and I had seen I knew a lot about all the shippers, and I knew a lot about fast shipping. I mean, I had this huge repository of information and experience, and I didn't know how it would be used. But all of a sudden, you're looking at a problem, and you're kind of in your mind going through, how could I possibly solve this in different ways? And one of the things that comes up is something you've experienced in the past. I, I just watched um, this interview from uh, the diary of a CEO and it was uh, Mark Randolph, uh, co-founder of Netflix. It was, um, he started it with uh, Reed Hastings. I think Reed Hastings still is at Netflix. And uh, they talk about, you know, going on this, you know, this, this journey starting this, this company that is, <laughs> that became one of the most successful companies of all time still is right and um, few things stuck out to me culture which I'll talk about on my walk um, balance is is another thing and why he doesn't think that hard work is that determining factor of success. And I agree, I agree. Um, and I talked about this on a previous video where like grinding, you know, like, of course, like certain points takes hard work, right? You know, where, you know, you're in a grind like you gotta get things done. But that, you know, that's different. Like this whole myth of, yo, hard work, if you just work hard, you just work hard, you just work hard, you just work hard, you just work hard. That hard work will make you successful. And I used to hear this a lot as a young, you know, as a young person, and it's like, I give a, you know, I can almost give you a, a perfect example. So yesterday when I go to the, to get my hair cut, it's a kid that's at the basketball court. And mind you, it's like 95 degrees outside. He has this thing on his, on his head. He's drenched in sweat. And I've worked out with this kid before. He's about 20, 21 years old, right? So by the time I look, you know, it was good to see him because I hadn't seen him in a while. And when I look, you know, he's shooting corner threes, okay? He's rolling the ball out to himself. He's shooting corner threes, and he's working hard. And he's, he's working extremely hard to get these shots up. And we worked out before, so I think he was on my make technique, right? Where in every spot, we just don't shoot a thousand shots, we shoot for makes, right? And he's working hard, he's working hard. And no matter how hard he's working, he would never hit that shot consistently because his mechanics is completely off, right? So yo, you don't shoot this three, right? Let's start here because you know, you're, the way that you're shooting 
you're never going to make that shot consistent. Your base is all wrong, first off, right? Your base is, is completely all wrong. Your, you, the way you're holding the ball is, is all wrong, right? You just spread your fingers. You're shooting it with two hands, right? And you're not looking where the ball is going. You're not looking at the rim, right? So no matter how long, how hard this kid was gonna work, that shot would have never been a consistent shot until the mechanics were changed. And those were correct in order for him to be able to make that shot consistently to be a good shooter. And that's where it circles back to like hard work, right? Where for such a long time, like I was working hard, busting my ass on business, being an entrepreneur, championing, yo, I'm working hard. Championing that this is the way to do it. Work hard, because at, at some point, this hard work is gonna pay off. When that's, that's just, it's a myth. It's a complete myth. You have to, <laughs> You have to work smart, but you have to know what to work hard at. It's techniques. You could be doing a, a, the, the, the thing completely wrong, working hard at it, and you'll never reap the results of it. That's why mentorship, and that's why certain things is so important. Mentorship coaching is so important because you could be doing something, working hard, and you're doing a complete wrong thing, you know? I could be working hard at YouTube, putting videos out every single day, but I could be doing the wrong thing, right? It's a possibility. I don't see growth, right? And until I'm aware of what I'm doing wrong, I'll probably continue to, to do it. Same thing for, for people that take that stance of, yo, Work hard, work hard, work hard, work hard. Hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall until you break through. But that's no guarantee that you'll ever break through. Okay? That was a key point. And this, another key point was balance, right? You know, like the balance of work, relationships, family. Like that's the balance that I so want so bad, right? And as I said, I will talk about culture later, but the culture that I'm already instilling in all dreams is that culture, that time for family, that time for work, for sure, that we love to do because this is what we chose to do, right? But then, you know, also relationships, you know, and to be able to uh, pay attention and to really, um, grow relationships instead of, hey, I have to be in the office for 10 hours or whatever. But take time for those relationships, all right? Even if it has to be some time for that relationship and then maybe go back to work to get some things done, right? But that's so important to me and that's the culture that I want to instill um, in all dreams, okay? Uh, I see it here in Colombia, whereas the weekend, they are letting it out, they're chilling, you know. Um, when Monday comes, you see the work and everybody, you know, whole thing changed, everybody's going, you know, going to work or whatever. But those are a few things. I think you should watch that interview. It's a diary of CEO, Mark Randolph. I've seen interviews with Mark before. I've actually talked to Mark and reached out to Mark uh, through email. And Mark has said, I don't see the value in that early on in all dreams. Um, so it was good to get that feedback. Um, I wonder what he would say now as, you know, we, you know, we've, I've gained so much speed and you know really diagnosing the problem that i'm solving and things like that or whatever so 
uh, maybe I'll reach out to him again, but definitely a great interview, you know, so you should check it out. Uh, it is 12.43. I'm going to get ready to get out of here and grab something to eat and then uh, play a little bit of basketball later and see what the see what see what else today has to hold. I did not film the videos today. Uh, I wanted to film a uh, story time video and I wanted to film a, a board talk, but um, I just don't feel it, right? So I'm not gonna do them. I'm definitely going through this for a reason. You feel me? And some got you know some got to change, bro. So um right, yeah, exactly. That's you know what I'm saying. That's 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 definitely not not going to be something that's that's going to be stable or is going to be efficient for what you're trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? So shit, bro. Yeah, shit, just uh, you, you might need it. You might need it. I don't know, man. I don't know. You might need it. You know what I mean? Shit. Yo, yo. Let me uh, let me let me call you back. My uh, my 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 motor outside. Shit, I call you back when I get back when I get downtown. Okay. Saturday, headed to the court, just went to grab something to eat. And I had something on my mind. I wanted to talk about culture, okay? Uh, reason being is, because culture is such a huge thing, you know? It's, it's massive. It dictates a lot of different things, culture, environment, and you know culture is you can have personal culture company culture culture of your neighborhood culture of your your country even culture of your state you know where you from like new york culture is completely different from atlanta culture you know um and culture basically is how you behave, right? And this is why I don't really, I don't really get with like hip hop culture, black culture per se as a whole. Now this is, this is not like a shot at black culture. Obviously I'm black, you understand what I'm saying? But like, let's just take like hip hop culture, right? It's the culture of how people behave. So if it's Meg Thee Stallion at the Kamala Harris, um, whatever that was, the rally that, you know, for Kamala Harris, her twerking, that is part of the culture, right? It's culture. Go be in. Let's see. See, see, super bien. Uh, that's part of the culture, the gang culture, shooting other black people. That's part of hip hop culture. Drugs, that's part of hip hop culture. And when was that ever a good thing? Right? It never was. And when it was a good thing, when was it good for our people or for our young kids growing up inside of that culture? When was gang culture? And again, we're, we're taking culture as how you behave, okay? I'm going somewhere with this. It's how you behave. This is, this is, this is what culture is, right? So when is that culture good for young people that are growing up to try to do something in the you know in the world I don't think I don't think ever it was a good thing I look at hip hop now as a 44 year old man and I'm like wow that's crazy that I bought into that culture which was 
the behavior and how you were supposed to behave being someone that is involved in hip hop or loves hip hop, right? Because they say like, all right, yo, do it for the culture. Do, do, you know, we doing it for the culture. What culture is that? I don't understand. Like, I really don't. I, I don't I don't understand. Do it, do it for what culture? The culture that behaves shooting each other, selling drugs to each other, violent towards each other, no marriages, our women are bitches, the men are niggas, no camaraderie. Is that the culture? Yes, it is. Because it's how you, it's, 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 <laughs> the culture is how you behave, again, right? It's, I mean, that's just what it is. Um, now, you personally, you have to figure out what's your culture. And this is why, like, I'm, like, documenting everything right now because when it's time to bring on employees, when it's time to scale, it was time to grow, maybe partners, they can look and see the culture of what I've been building, not just in the last two years, but what I've been, been, been building since 2005 and how the culture has shifted from when I started in 2005 all the way to 2024 when you can see what the culture is and it's a mixture of man we work hard we we are mission driven we want to make impact in the world um all of these things you know we like to you know we like we like to document because story we believe is is one of the biggest things legacy you know these type of things a chill environment chill environment not a system and not a culture that has to look over your shoulder that's not the culture that i want i don't want to have to have employees and what are you doing yo get your work done no we want a culture of people that love doing impact in the world morally that's that's clean you know they're, they're, they're clean morally spiritual just decent people and that's the people that we want in the all dreams culture so I want people to think about their personal culture and then also their business culture. Me, my personal culture, man, is living clean. You know? Being honest, waking up early, having my life in order doing routines, being good to people, treating people how I want to be treated with respect, love. This is part of my personal culture, working hard, but also working smart, being healthy, taking care of my body, not womanizing. It's a huge part of my culture not being a womanizer, you know? Knowing that it's okay to be alone in certain points of my life. What's your personal culture? You know, and I'm not perfect by no means, but these are things that I work on every single day, you know? Temptations and not subsiding to temptations, right? Free thinking, okay? Business culture, I, I, I explained that, the business culture of all dreams. But, you know, what's your culture? What's the culture of your company? What's the culture of you personally? 
because it's how you behave. And that's why, again, I say I'm documenting that I'm documenting this whole thing because it is it's all about culture. It's all about culture. So I hope that gives a little insight because when you watch, even on YouTube, you can watch someone's channel and you can tell their, their, their personal culture. It's not just about hip hop culture. It's not just about American culture. It's not just about city culture. That's all part of it. But personal culture is something you can definitely make a difference in your personal culture for you to try to get to wherever you're trying to get to. So I walked past the court trying to relay this message that I had. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. 90 days left, man, before we launch. Peace.